of all the golf courses in the world, this is the one I've probably played the most. This is Buchanan Fields. That's the driving range. They have like a snack bar, and there's also a pro shop. That's the putting green. And I believe this the first hole used to be this creek that's used as a chipping green. And then you pass this bridge, and you go to the number one tee box, which is a pretty cool hole because the point of it is if you slice it, you go into the driving range. So there's an OB, which most people play as a penalty, down the right-hand side. It's 280 or so yards, maybe 290. It always feels like about 320 had about a wedge in, hit a tree, stayed on the left-hand side, hit the lob wedge, probably caught it a little fat with the way the divot was, and then left myself this pitch. My short game hasn't really been that fantastic lately, but check out my medium shirt that barely fits me. Pretty awesome look. Finished out with a putter, and I think that's cool that I've played here so much in my life. I didn't even look back to see a plane was going. The second hole is right, literally right to the right of it. And it's the same kind of concept. There's two bunkers, a forced carry, about 150, 155 carry, and any shot to the right will go into that same airport. This hole, traditionally, you get very little run out onto the green. I actually really hit a good shot. I thought it might go in, but conditions were a little wet, and I didn't get that lucky. It was really on a good line. And I've been having putting woes, but I can't be mad at that. That was a good stroke. The third hole, I actually once got a hole in one here. You can't miss left. You can hit into a tee box. There's a moat also over on the left-hand side. And I typically just aim at this bunker, and if I pull it, then that's okay. But I want to take left out of play. I hit a straight shot all the way to the back of the green with an 8-iron. And hit a pretty good pitch, but I mean... They're pretty soft here. The big thing that you got to know is if you land on the fringe, the ball can get sucked up by the crappy grass, and it'll just kind of stick and stop. This is one of my favorite holes in golf. It's the fourth hole. It's par four. There used to be a lake to the left, so you used to have to use more strategy because you could lose your ball night and just play from there. And if you miss right, you actually just go into the eighth fairway. I left myself once again maybe 40, 50 yards, just a simple lob wedge, and gave myself a really, really good look at a birdie. Just didn't have the pace of the greens, but I'm not mad at that. I gave it an honest effort. The fifth hole, I'd say, is if you're a beginner golfer, this is probably going to be your favorite hole because there's the fewest amount of obstacles. It's a really good yardage, and this is a Buchanan special. Someone hit into me right as I hit the shot. Gotta love that. That's the bunker to the left that you want to stay away from. A nice safe shot is just to the right of the green. If you want to take it on, then you can give yourself a short sated shot. Once again, not a very confident stroke watching in hindsight, but another par. Let's go. The sixth hole is probably the most straightforward hole, although this day it's playing into the sun. The exception to it is it has a very slopey green. So if you're all the way on the right-hand side with an upper left pin, it's going to be hard. And conversely, all the way on the left-hand side with a lower right, you could have like a St. Andrews-like putt. On this day, I just try to keep the ball to the left. And it's always kind of tricky getting back here. And I salvaged a par, which was pretty friggin' cool because that back left pin location, if you don't distance gauge well, can be very tricky. The seventh is a hole where I personally try to miss out right, which isn't the best because there's a tee box where I almost got it hit into. But if you miss left, you can either hit the eighth tee box or be in trouble. So I always try to miss a little left and bring the ball right to left back in there. And I went over the green with a seven iron and I almost chipped that in. So you can see where it is. I'd say that most people's favorite hole on this course is the 8th hole. It's kind of a drivable par 4. I've never seen anyone drive this green, but it feels drivable. The conditions here and the fairway grass don't really run, so the ball doesn't get nearly as much run as it would at other courses. So you're basically going to hit the ball as far as you carry it with a couple of hops. I came up maybe 20-30 yards short, had a wedge, and I always feel like on this fairway the the grass grabs your club more than on other fairways so I always kind of pull it or have a stronger strike because I just don't trust what's going to happen with the ground and then I made this for par 
kind of a boring round. Like, but once again, this is a course I like a lot. That's the backside of the ninth hole. Ninth hole, the longest hole on the course. It's still like 320, 330, not very long. You don't want to miss right because that's that lake that you see on hole four. Nine also people get confused for four, so sometimes people play the wrong hole. Had about 85 yards in, a little wind into my face, tried to get the sand wedge there and caught it a little heavy and gave myself a longer putt than I probably needed to. And then hit this putt and finished out a good round. Buchanan is a really, really fun course, and it's where I've spent a lot of my golfing life at. There's this bunker behind the ninth green I've never seen anyone hit into, and this chipping facility is a chipping area that I've spent a lot of time at. So if you ever want to just work on chipping, you can go there. Thank you for watching this vlog. I appreciate anyone who contributes or subscribes or even likes a video. This is a passion project and I'm just trying to do the best I can.